Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome to day 138 of our Bible in a Year Challenge. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your host for today. Welcome. We are committed to reading our Bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Yes, you heard me right. Just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok. We are excited to have you here. Let's get started. Day 138, May 18, 2022. 365 days Bible reading. Old Testament, 1 Samuel 1, 1 Samuel 2, verse 1 to 26. New Testament, John chapter 10, verse 22 to 42. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 63, verse 1 to 11. Old Testament and IV version. 1 Samuel 1, 1 to 28. The birth of Samuel. There was a certain man from Ramathaim, a Zuphite from the hill country of Ephraim, whose name was Elkanah, son of Jeroham, the son of Elihu, the son of Tohu, the son of Zuf, an Ephraimite. He had two wives. One was called Hannah and the other Penina. Penina had children, but Hannah had none. Year after year, this man went up from his town to worship and sacrifice to the Almighty God at Shiloh, where Hophni and Phinehas, the two sons of Eli, were priests of the Lord. Whenever the day came for Elkanah to sacrifice, he would give portions of the meat to his wife Penina and to all her sons and daughters. But to Hannah, he gave a double portion because he loved her and the Lord had closed her womb. Because the Lord had closed Hannah's womb, her rival kept provoking her in order to irritate her. This went on year after year. Whenever Hannah went up to the house of the Lord, her rival provoked her till she wept and would not eat. Her husband Elkanah would say to her, Hannah, why are you weeping? Why don't you eat? Why are you downhearted? Don't I mean more to you than ten sons? Once, when they had finished eating and drinking in Shiloh, Hannah stood up. Now, Eli the priest was sitting on his chair by the doorpost of the Lord's house. In her deep anguish, Hannah prayed to the Lord, weeping bitterly. And she made a vow, saying, Lord Almighty, if you will only look on your servant's misery and remember me and not forget your servant, but give her a son, then I will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life, and no razor will ever be used on his head. As she kept on praying to the Lord, Eli observed her mouth. Hannah was praying in her heart, and her lips were moving, but her voice was not heard. Eli thought she was drunk and said to her, How long are you going to stay drunk? Put away your wine. Not so, my lord, Hannah replied. I am a woman who is deeply troubled. I have not been drinking wine or beer. I was pouring out my soul to the Lord. Do not take your servant for a wicked woman. I have been praying here out of my great anguish and grief. Eli answered, Go in peace, and may the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. She said, May your servant find favor in your eyes. Then she went away and ate something, and her face was no longer downcast. Hallelujah. Early the next morning, they arose and worshipped before the Lord, and then went back to their home at Ramah. Elkanah made love to his wife Hannah, and the Lord remembered her. So, in the course of time, Hannah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel, saying, Because I asked the Lord for him. Glory to God. 
Hannah dedicated Samuel. When her husband Elkanah went up with all his family to offer the annual sacrifice to the Lord and to fulfill his vow, Hannah did not go. She said to her husband, After the boy is weaned, I will take him and present him before the Lord, and he will live there always. Do what seems best to you, her husband Elkanah told her. Stay here until you have weaned him. Only may the Lord make good his word. So the woman stayed at home and nursed her son until she had weaned him. After he was weaned, she took the boy with her, young as he was, along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine, and brought him to the house of the Lord at Shiloh. When the bull had been sacrificed, they brought the boy to Eli, and she said to him, Pardon me, my Lord, as surely as you live, I am the woman who stood here beside you praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child, and the Lord has granted me what I asked of him. Hallelujah. So now I give him to the Lord. For his whole life he will be given over to the Lord. And he worshipped the Lord there. Glory to God. 1 Samuel 2 verse 1 to 26. Hannah's prayer. Then Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoices in the Lord. In the Lord my horn is lifted high. My mouth boasts over my enemies, for I delight in your deliverance. There is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. Glory to God. Do not keep talking so proudly or let your mouth speak such arrogance for the lord is a god who knows and by him deeds are weighed the bowls of the warriors are broken but those who stumbled are armed with strength those who were full hire themselves out for food but those who were hungry are hungry no more she she who was barren has borne seven children but she who has had many sons pines away the lord brings death and makes alive he brings down to the grave and raises up the lord sends poverty and wealth he humbles and he exalts he raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap. He seats them with princes and has them inherit a throne of honor. For the foundations of the earth are the Lord's, on them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful servants, but the wicked will be silenced in the place of darkness." It is not by strength that one prevails, those who oppress the Lord will be broken. The Most High will thunder from heaven, the Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Then Elkanah went home to Ramah, but the boy ministered before the Lord under Eli the priest. Eli's wicked sons Eli's sons were scoundrels; they had no regard for the Lord. Now, it was the practice of the priests that whenever any of the people offered a sacrifice, the priest servant would come with a three-pronged fork in his hand while the meat was being boiled and would plunge the fork into the pan or kettle or cauldron or pot. Whatever the folk brought up, the priest would take for himself. This is how they treated all the Israelites who came to Shiloh. But even before the fat was burned, the priest servant would come and say to the person who was sacrificing, Give the priest some meat to roast. He won't accept boiled meat from you, but only raw. If the person said to him, let the fat be burned first and then take whatever you want, the servant would answer, no, hand it over now. If you don't, I'll take it by force. This sin of the young men was very great in the Lord's sight, for they were treating the Lord's offering with contempt. But Samuel was ministering before the Lord a boy wearing a linen 
ephod. Each year his mother made him a little robe and took it to him when she went up with her husband to offer the annual sacrifice. Eli would bless Elkanah and his wife, saying, May the Lord give you children by this woman to take the place of the one she prayed for and gave to the Lord. Then they would go home. And the Lord was gracious to Hannah. She gave birth to three sons and two daughters. Meanwhile, the boy Samuel grew up in the presence of the Lord. Now, Eli, who was very old, heard about everything his sons were doing to all Israel and how they slept with the women who served at the entrance to the tent of meeting. So he said to them, why do you do such things? I hear from all the people about this wicked deeds of yours. No, my sons, the report I hear spreading among the Lord's people is not good. If one person sins against another, God may mediate for the offender. But if anyone sins against the Lord, who will intercede for them? His sons, however, did not listen to their father's rebuke, for it was the Lord's will to put them to death. And the boy Samuel continued to grow in stature and in favor with the Lord and with people. Glory to God. New Testament NIV version. John chapter 10 verse 22 to 42. Further conflict over Jesus' claims. Then came the festival of dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter and Jesus was in the temple courts walking in Solomon's colonnade. The Jews who were there gathered around him saying, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I did tell you, but you do not believe. The works I do in my father's name testify about me, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. And the father, I and the father are one. Again, his Jewish opponents picked up stones to stone him. But Jesus said to them, I have shown you many good works from the father. For which of these do you stone me? We are not stoning you for any good work, they replied, but for blasphemy because you, a mere man, claim to be God. Jesus answered them, it is, not, is it not written in your law? I have said you are God's. If he called them gods, to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, what about the one whom the Father set apart as his very own and sent into the world? Why then do you accuse me of blasphemy? Because I said I am God's son. Do not believe me unless I do the works of my Father. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works that you may know and understand that the Father is in me and I am in him. Again, they tried to seize him, but he escaped their grasp. Then Jesus went back across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing in the early days. There he stayed and many people came to him. They said, though John never performed a sign, all that John said about this man was true. And in that place, many believed in Jesus. Hallelujah. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 63, verse 1 to 11. A Psalm of David when he was in the desert of Judah. You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up your hands, my hands. I will be fully satisfied as with the rich, richest of foods, with singing lips, my mouth will praise you. 
on my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. Because you are my help, I sink in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you. Your right hand upholds me. Those who want to kill me will be destroyed. They will go down to the depths of the earth. They will be given over to the sword and become food for jackals. But the king will rejoice in God or will swear by God will glory in him while the mouths of liars will be silenced. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Wow. Amazing scriptures today. Thank you so much for hanging around with me again today. I hope you were blessed because I was really blessed with today's readings. Glory to God. Please, if you're here and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, it will be my utmost pleasure to lead you in this amazing prayer of salvation. Please kindly repeat after me, believing in your heart every word you say. Say, Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. If you said that prayer, we are so excited to welcome you into God's family. Can you go ahead, send us a message. Let us know you gave your heart to Christ. Someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new faith walk. Glory to God. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so much for staying around with me again today. Please, if you haven't yet done so, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you have the notification bell on so you can receive notifications every time we post a new video. Kindly share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones. Encourage them to join us in this daily prayer and daily reading of our Bibles. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Please remember to follow us on Facebook and on Instagram and TikTok. I look forward to another amazing day with you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day today. Bye.